Okay, in the last video we found the molar mass to be 60.3 and we found the percent carbon to be 40 and the percent nitrogen to be 46.6 by their masses. And so the last thing that we need to do is we need to take those percents and um, find the empirical formula. So we start with grams. Um, I pretend like I have 100 grams. Okay, so if I have 100 grams, then 40 grams would be carbon. So start with grams and go to moles. And 46.6 grams nitrogen. And 13.4. Okay, so start with grams, go to moles. When you put these in your calculator, you get 3.33. I think this is 3.35, 3.33, and 13.4 divide 1.01. .01. Okay, so then I like to set it up like this, C 3.33, H 13.3, and N 3.33. So you divide by the smallest. So we're going to get C1H4 and 1. And that would be the empirical formula. Start with grams, go to moles, divide by smallest, multiply to whole. But we already have wholes. So we're going to keep it like that. And then the last step is we need to figure out what's the molecular formula. So we find the mass of this. We get 12 plus 4 plus 14, which equals 30. And I remember from the problem, that, or from the first part, that the molar mass is 60. So I just need to double the 30 to get the 60. So this compound is C2H8N. Okay, thank you.